Okay, this video will explain to you what a z-score is. So we know that the normal distribution looks like a bell curve and that the um, center of the distribution is the mean, the mode, and the median. And we know that 50% of the scores are going to be on the left, lower than the mean, mode, and median, and 50% of the scores are going to be on the right. So these things are true of all normally distributed data. So we also learned that um, within uh, a standard deviation on either side of the center, the mean, within a normal distribution lie 68% of the data. Between two standard deviations lies 95% of the data. And between three standard deviations below and above the mean lie 99.7% of the data. And this shows um, the exact same thing, but just shows it in terms of half of a standard deviation. And so basically, the point here is that in a normal distribution, at any given point on the x-axis, we can tell precisely what proportion um, of the data are above and what proportion of the data are below that point. So this um, distribution here is called a standard normal distribution, and that's because the um, mean is, is set to zero, and then the scores along the x-axis are in standard deviations from the mean, okay? So this in this standard normal distribution, uh, all the scores, so if you have a score of 0.5, that means it's 0.5 standard deviations, half a standard deviation above the mean. And so given that, you can just simply add up here all of these probabilities to figure out what proportion of the data in the curve is above this line. So let's try that. So the probability of um, any score, which I'm saying is an x, so the probability of x being um, greater than 0 0.05 is just the um, probability, this probability, 15 plus 9.2 plus 4.4 plus 1.7 plus um, 0.5 plus 0.0. 0.1, which equals 30.9. So what this shows is that um, given this normal distribution, um, which is a standard normal distribution, the probability of any score being above a point, the score of 0.5 is just this. This, the probability of um, a score falling within this area of the curve, which is indicated here. So you can do the same thing if you're interested in the probability that a score in your distribution will fall below the score of 0.5. Um, and you can do it for any score, of course, along this x-axis. And so, um, so in this norm, standard normal distribution, the scores along the x-axis are z-scores. So this is, again, the normal standard normal distribution, and then the z-scores are the um, scores along the x-axis of the normal, standard normal distribution, which are um, scores that are um, in the form of standard number of standard deviations from the mean, which in the standard normal distribution is zero. So to take any normal distribution where you have raw data, so for example, height, um, if you want to figure out what proportion of the distribution, what proportion of scores are going to fall below or above or even between two points, um, to, between two scores, you will, what you can do is transform your raw data into z-scores and then plot them on here and then calculate the probabilities that way, just like we just did. Okay, so we're going to use and try an example. Okay, so here we have this uh, cool graphic, which I stole from the web, and um, it shows the heights of major world leaders, okay? And so say what we want to know is what proportion, how tall, basically, is, let's just pick out um, Hitler, 
Okay, so if Hitler were around today in the U.S., what proportion of people would be taller than Hitler? What proportion of men in the U.S., let's be more specific, would be taller than Hitler? Okay, so, um, so let's uh, figure out how to do that. Okay, so here um, is the distribution of men, of heights of men in the U.S., okay? So we know that it's, it's a normally distributed, it's, it's a bell curve, and the mean, uh, mean height of men in the U.S. is 70 inches. It's actually 69 and a half, but we're going to use 70 um, as a, a easier number to work with. So um, the first thing we want to do is um, we also know that the standard deviation um, is 3 inches, 2.9, but we're going to use 3. Okay, so here's 70 inches in the middle, so that's the mean, and then we'll put the um, some other scores on here. Okay, so now we have a number of scores on here, and the standard deviation being 3, so we put this is one standard deviation away, this is two, this is three, um, likewise over here. So we know that, for example, 99.7% um, of the data are going to, of the scores rather, will be between 61 inches and 79 inches. And we know that Hitler here is 5'8", which is 68 inches, so Hitler is going to fall about here. Okay, so there's Hitler's head, I mean there's Hitler, Hitler's uh, height right there, 68 inches, and um, so we want to know what proportion of men in the U.S. are taller than Hitler. And to do this we have to calculate a z-score for Hitler's height, thereby transforming Hitler's height into the standard normal distribution and then um, calculating the probability based on that. So to calculate a z-score, a z-score equals the score that you're interested in minus the mean over the standard deviation. So um, the score that we're interested in is Hitler's score minus the mean of the uh, distribution, which is 70 inches, um, and then divided by the standard deviation, which is 3. So that equals negative 2 over 3, or negative 0.67. So the z-score for Hitler's height is negative 0.67. So uh, negative um, 0 0.67 is the, um, the z-score, right? So it's the position of Hitler's height within the standard di distribution of men's heights. So we basically took the 68 inches, um, the score over here, subtracted it from the mean of the distribution, which was 70, and then divided by the standard deviation. So it's just, you know, um, that, that gives us the score on the standard deviation. So the z-score is just a transformation of a score into this um, standard distribution which is in which the units are standard deviations away from the mean. So this is negative 0.67 standard deviations away from the mean. And so now what we want to know is what is the proportion of, um, of men whose heights are higher than Hitler's, right? So what we want to know is what is the probability of the score falling in this part of the distribution. And to do that, um, nowadays you simply would be using a computer and it would give you the probability automatically. You can also look in a table, a Z table. So the Z table um, tells you the percent of the distribution that falls either above or below your Z score. And different uh, Z tables will tell you different um, you know, parts of the distribution relative to your score. So this table shows you the percent of the distribution um, between the mean and the z-score, okay? So here is our um, distribution of height, and here's our z-score, which is represents Hitler's height. And um, so we go over here and look at the, find our z-score, okay? So we start over here, we find 0.6, and then we go over here to 0.07, so that's point, 
six seven. Okay, so that's twenty four eighty six. And so we know that that shows the diff distance between the mean and the z score, which is here. And so that's we now know that that's point two four eight six. And what we want to know is what percent of uh, men's heights are above Hitler's height, okay? So we know that between the mean and Hitler's height is 24.86% uh, of the heights, but then we have to add this in. So we add 0.5 here because this is, we know that this is half of the distribution because in a normal distribution, half of the values are on, uh, above the mean and half are below. So we know that um, the probability of the, a score being greater than our z-score here of negative um, 0.67 is equal to the probability that a score falls in this area plus the probability that the score falls in this area. So 0.2486 plus 0.5 equals 0.7486, which equals 74.86 percent. So the light, so 74.86 percent of the scores are going to be higher than this z-score. And then um, we're obviously not really interested in the z-score. We're interested in Hitler's height. Okay, so then we can go back. So this z-score represented a height of 5.8. Um, so at the, the end, the conclusion is that the probability of a, a, any man in the U.S. being taller than Hitler is 74.86%. Um, is, um, so 74.86% of the men are, in the U.S. are taller than Hitler's height of 5 foot 8 inches. And so that's how you can use a z-score to understand the probability of other scores being either above or below um, your particular score. And so that's it.